Hey everybody, I'm starting this project off with these stove burner covers that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'll be using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster just to cover up the original design on the burner. I don't want those visible at all. This did require two coats, so you just wanna make sure that you dry the first coat before applying the second coat, and then make sure that both of those coats are completely dry before moving on to the next step. I then got this candlestick holder from my local thrift shop, and I'm going to be painting it with folk art chalk paint in the color Java. When getting stuff from thrift stores, just make sure you do wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol and then you could go ahead and start painting it. This did require about two coats, so you want to let the first coat dry before going on to the second coat. Once the coats were completely dry, I'm going to be doing a dry brush method with that Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. So you just need a small amount of the paint on your paintbrush and then just with some light strokes, just go all around the candlestick until you are satisfied to how it looks. And once that candlestick was completely dry, let's go ahead and assemble this all together. So I'm using adhesive glue you could find from Dollar Tree. You could also use E6000 and I'm using a mixture with hot glue. I'm just placing it at the bottom of the candlestick holder, placing that on top of the larger stove burner cover, and then placing the smaller cover on the top of the candlestick holder. And you want to let this set for about 25 to 35 minutes. You then wanna grab four packages of these clothes pins from Dollar Tree. And I find the easiest way to color them is to put the paint color of your choice in a Ziploc bag, water it down with some water, give it a little shake, and then go ahead and put those clothespins right in, shake that up until they are completely saturated, let them out of the Ziploc bag, and let those completely dry. Once those were completely dry, I then just began clipping the clothespins all around the edges of the stove top covers. And you just want to do this to both the top and the bottom and just do this until they are both completely filled in. So you could stop here if you just want the clothespins to be a plain white. I wanted mine to look a little bit more weathered. So using some folk art chalk paint in the color ink. I'm just doing a dry brush method again all over those clothespins. And I also did the same thing on the inside of the clothespins as well and then just let that completely dry before moving on. So now I'll be using some Waverly Antique Wax. At first I started just doing the dry brush method so I was just putting a small amount of the antique wax onto the clothespins, but I felt like it wasn't dark enough. So again, you can make it as light or as dark as you would like. I just kept adding it and you just wanna do that until you are completely satisfied to how these look. Once that's complete, you could just fill this up with your choice of decor. How stinking cute did this come out? I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.